West Midlands. Ten years after the Race Relations Act was amended to give public bodies the obligation to promote equality, the government says significant progress has been made in tackling racism. In a recent speech, Community Secretary John Denham said that black and other ethnic minority Britons no longer face the disadvantages of a decade ago. His comments caused many a black commentator to respond with evidence to the contrary in the following days. So, is race no longer a major issue? And is class the major obstacle faced by black and minority ethnic communities in Britain? A question BBC WM's Joe Aldred debated with Joy Warmington and Derek Campbell, both senior race campaigners in Birmingham. The first voice you'll hear is Derek Campbell's. I'll go as far as saying that once class primarily is determined by two things. Um, Firstly, how wealthy you are, which leads you to how much influence you have uh, and, and I'd say the second thing, which is a sort of a minor point, but it's an important one, which I think I'll de- de- um, um, develop a bit later, is how you actually think about your own particular standing. OK. Um, what's your take on class then, uh, Joy? Well, if you, if you look in a, any sort of sociology textbook, it talks about your, um, your parents' occupation, essentially, so who mum and dad was. Um, but you can't ignore what Derek says in relation to the amount of money you have because a lot of um, your opportunities are to do with your um, ability to buy and to, you know, things like, you know, where you live or what kind of school you can go to, all of that sort of stuff. It influences your opportunities in life and that of your family. So it's a mixture of the two, I think. Mm. So Britain is a class-based society. Mm-hmm. My father used to say Britain was the mother and the father of the class. I mean, not only did they, ha- you know, it took it everywhere. I mean, if you look at India, you know, and the colonisation, everywhere Britain went, it took, the, it took that concept of class with it. Now, do you agree, Joy, with John Denham then when he says that we've not only to focus on race, but we have also to focus on class because that also is a hindrance to people making progress? It is a hindrance. Black people. It is a hindrance to people. Is that because not enough of us are middle class or upper class? It's because a lot of us are in a situation where we don't have access to things that are going to give us good chances in life. So if you go to a crap school, um, you don't have very good opportunities within your job or you don't get a job. I mean, there was that recent survey they did again where they took two people with the same qualifications and one was, um, I think one was Indian or Asian, another one was white and the white got, person got the job. You know, we're still facing discrimination in our society, which means that you're not um, in as much p- opportunity um, in order to kind of get on in relation to moving upward but in ha- the ladder. But, but Derek, how, you, you run an organisation that tries to control issues around race mm-hmm. uh, and cohesion. How do you control class? You can't control it because class, regardless of how much money you have, regardless of... Uh, you could be, uh, I was having a conversation earlier. You could be the Maharaja. As, lo- as soon as you put foot on British soil they will see your colour and their perception of you is, will determine how they treat ah, you. Ah, so you're saying that the, even the idea of uh, black middle class um, don't work? Within our own circles, we can try and put on as much airs and graces as we like. We're still seen as a black face and when we go to certain places... By who? I mean, I, by, 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 can, can by, I tell you what I don't I, understand about this debate? <clears> when people <throat> say, we are still seen by, therefore we can't be, what about self-perception? Well, I mentioned the second, as you, if you remember what I said earlier, we have a perception of our own abilities, our own standing, and within our own right, that's, that's okay. We must have self-pride, we must have right. ambitions. But the bottom line is, unfortunately, it depends on how people perceive you. That's how they're going to treat you. Which people? Aren't you a person as well? Doesn't it matter how you perceive me? It, or it, I perceive you. Why? When so, you say it, people, it's so like you only mean it depends how white people perceive black people. No, no, because we also see that black people, you try and establish yourself within your own community. Some of your own people are the same ones that will try to destroy you. So even who black do they people, think they are? So even oh, black people only see black people as lower class, no matter who you may think you are. Is that right, John? It's a, it's a very general statement, but I think that there are some challenges about how we, how we move forward as a community. What do we actually mean by being black in mm. British society today? I but mean, that's you, not a question you're debating, well, no, but yeah. it's a, it is a question that needs to be debated. Yeah, That's a debate that's going to run and run 
Joy Warmington and Derek Campbell were debating on Chatback with Joe Aldred on BBC WM every Saturday night between 8 and 10 p.m.